The beer is flowing, and so is the conversation at this Wisconsin bar. And the topic on the table? Religion. That, there are just so many things that Christians say, no, this is a sin, sure. but they have no support yeah. of that actually being the case. Gatherings like this are part of a national trend of religious groups combining faith with cold brews. They know what it is to talk about their faith in a church, but they've never done it. Most people have never done it in a bar, so it's a totally new environment and, and maybe fresh. In addition to that, I'll be honest, uh, a beer or two doesn't hurt the conversation at all. Brandon Brown is a pastor at Collective MKE Church, which doesn't have a traditional building. He holds these bar meetings called Jesus and Beer at least once a month and attracts up to a couple dozen people. So the point of these conversations is to disagree uh, with a beer and in a friendly way. Angela Cadell started struggling with her Christianity 14 years ago because of its stance against gay people. If you're an atheist, you're welcome. If you're, um, I'm a lesbian, I'm totally welcome. There's no people group. I mean, tonight we're talking about scapegoating. There is no scapegoating that happens here. At the Basilica of St. Joseph out in Milwaukee and its partner churches, they are using the relaxed bar setting to connect with possible parishioners, especially millennials. Not as an end, but definitely as a means to an end. Um, and I think obviously the end is like greater faith and a relationship with God, um, but also just to be connected to a parish community somewhere where they're living. There's usually a speaker, discussion, and of course a free beer. I think this kind of relaxed social atmosphere where you, you come, you meet people, you drink, and you relax, and you, you kind of learn and educate yourself, that's, that's a big draw to millennials. While some religions forbid alcohol, it's not new to Christianity. You know, one of the Psalms says that, uh, you know, God gave wine to cheer people's hearts. And so the, even, the, even the prayer book of the Old Testament sees <laughs> that this is a gift from God. Bibles and brews, old gifts connecting people in modern ways. Carrie Antelfinger, Associated Press.